Introducing Looking Glass, an open source tool that helps users with Selenium automation by getting GUI object properties. Looking Glass contains features like being able to identify objects by their various element types and check how Selenium interacts with it. It works across all major browsers and is compatible with Windows, Linux and Mac OS X. Installing Looking Glass is easy. First, make sure you have Java 1.7 already installed on in your machine. And then, in the project's GitHub page, use the big bucket link, which is specified in readme file, to download the zip file. If the browser prompts you to report or discard the file, definitely keep the file. Then open it, take the files from the zip, and unzip them right into the folder where you want Looking Glass to be located. To start Looking Glass, just double click on the jar file and you're ready to go. Let's select Browser Chrome, open it, and access the website we want to work with. In my case, let's go to Amazon. When I click on the Looking Glass button, I can now hover over various objects that I see here and you can see that automatically this pane over here updates with appropriate structure. So for example, if I look at button Go, I can see input class nav submit input, title Go, etc. And if I click on it, I can now see a full X path to it. So if I click on button validate, it will highlight the button that I have selected. I can also begin to highlight the parents of this object and it will highlight whatever I have selected here. Now another useful thing we can do here is I can now modify and specify my own XPath. So let's say if I want to specify directly the nav submit input instead of specifying this entire um, path we have right now. I would specify class equals nav submit input click on validate and you can see it's still validated go button as it should be so it gives me an opportunity to really play around with a uh, selenium xpath another interesting features here is that as you can see when I do a hover over the text field, I can also do things like type. What it does is it actually sends a Selenium type command. So you can validate whether your Selenium script will be able to do that and work with that specific object, just like I did right now by setting up test text here. I can also do the click and see how the click works as well. For example, on the button Go. Now, you can also see the object's various properties, like for example, you can see its CSS selector, and once again, you can modify it and validate it. Uh, you can see its uh, link text, if it has any, or anything else that uh, the object might contain. As you can see, with Looking Glass, users can now easily get and validate objects they want their Selenium scripts to work with, so I hope you can find it to be useful in your automation development.